Tina Malone accused of crying without tears during this morning interview Mirror Online. The shameless actress was left sobbing on this morning today after opening up about how her pound 10,000 fine and suspended sentence for identifying John Venables ruined her life. Tina Malone has been accused of fake crying during her appearance on this morning today. The shameless actress was left sobbing on this morning today after opening up about how her pound 10,000 fine and suspended sentence for identifying John Venables ruined her life and that they could no longer take their five-year-old daughter on a trip to Disneyland. She narrowly avoided jail after she admitted sharing a photo on Facebook alleged to show James Bulger killer John Venables. She was sentenced to eight months in prison, suspended for two years and ordered to pay pound 10,000 costs in the high court. Tina blamed the stress of a mental breakdown and financial problems for breaching the injunction. However viewers hit out at Tina as they claimed that she was crying without tears. Viewers flocked to Twitter to slam her over her appearance, with some also claiming that she was just trying to plug her new show Clink. One tweeted Tina Malone on this morning, what an actress crying with no tears plugging a show and literally begging for someone to pay for her five-year-old to go Disneyland was cringe-worthy to watch. While another commented Tina Malone on this morning, pretty sure she and a po. S angling for a free trip to Disney. Two out of ten for the fake tears. A third remark really don't care if she put a photo up of that scumbag. But these fake tears, one wrote OMG Croc Tears, a program promotion it sounds like she is wanting a go find me to Disney or to pay the fine. At Schofield Hall, speaking to hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, she insisted that she had never been good with social media and had an po. T owned a computer before. When Phil pointed out that she must have watched the news and known about the injunction, Tina said that she was an po. T deft but that she didn't end a po. T realize what she was doing was illegal. The repercussions have been horrendous on my life, she said, revealing that it had been a difficult few months and had only managed to get her first job in four years when she received a high court summons for retweeting a photo of Venables. I moved house so I didn't end a po. T get the first letter, she told Holly and Philippines. My husband lost, revealing that they were unable to have a party for their daughter, Tina began crying. Then I got this through the post and I thought I was going to lose the job on TV show Clink, she said. We can end a po, it end a po. It's all my fault, she told Holly and Phil as she continued to cry. I end a po. I'm terrified, she added. I end a po. Phil tried to comfort her by saying what you end a po. Reproving is that it end a po. It's easy to fall into that trap. Tina finished the interview by vowing I end a po. M a survivor, I end a po. M a scouser. Earlier this month, the court heard she was suffering with mental health problems when she shared the post and that she is the main carer for her five-year-old daughter and elderly mother. Lord Burnett, sitting with Mr. Justice Warby, said we have concluded that, although the custody threshold is undoubtedly passed in this case, the personal circumstances and mitigation of this defendant are such that we should impose a suspended committal order. Taking account of everything that we have heard, we order that the defendant be committed to prison for eight months, but we suspend that order for two years. She blamed the stress of a mental breakdown and financial problems for breaching the injunction. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was 28, although it was called manic depression then. I have felt like I, last year or the last two years was the worst two years of my life. And so yes, the court heard the post was originally made by another user and Malone shared it onto her own profile. She said within a few days I had a phone call off a journalist who said to me, Andapo. Do you know what you have? And I was talking to him, stupidly and naively and then it went in all the papers. 
I apologize, I was on a lot of antidepressants, I had a breakdown in the January. This was a few weeks, this journalist spoke to me and I was probably quite irritated and annoyed that he had rung me to tell me. Asterisk this morning airs weekdays at 10.30am on ITV. Drop, 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 drop,